You do not get people's attention in the financial services industry by dancing and pointing to shit. That ain't how you do it. Look, I was raised different. I see the whole game different. Gotta go hard like LeBron in the paint with it. We don't just play different. Every day we think different. Wake up in the morning, talk to Christ. You know I pray different. Used to play it. So in order for me to lose my vulnerability, I first had to ensure that I was not only making money based on where I was. I needed a way to make not have to make money based on where I was, based on me being somewhere. And a lot of us in the financial industry, we fail because if you are not speaking somewhere physically, you do not have the opportunity to make money. This is a problem that a lot of us have in the financial services industry. And a lot of people honestly have with their business. If you're not there physically, if you're not there uh, selling, if you are not there uh, at the seminar, if you are not there prospecting, if you are not there out there shaking hands and talking to people, you don't have the right ability to make money. And that is the problem in our industry. We misuse social media. We try to entertain people and we do not know how to bring immense value. So the first thing that I wanted to do, I knew I needed a collaboration. Either I was going to collaborate with Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, running ads, or I was going to collaborate with an influencer, somebody that already had a market. Hindsight 2020, I met a guy by the name of Brother Ben. Now, Brother Ben, <clears throat> I did not know that he had a big following. But I did know that I was looking for somebody who had a who had either understood, they understood social media, or they had a following um, uh, that we could partner together and work together. Um, but that was what I was looking at. When I met Brother Ben, uh, sweetest guy in the world, and uh, I didn't even, I, I didn't want to I, I didn't want to be on his social media like that. I actually told him I don't want him to actually post me on his social media. I just wanted to learn how to use social media. So I didn't even know exactly that I, I needed I, I was gonna partner with him in the way that I did. I just thought that if I had somebody who had who's an influencer, this was somebody that could teach me how to grow my social media. I didn't realize the power of leveraging somebody with influence. Brother Ben taught me that. I just needed somebody, if they were an influencer, that meant that they could teach me how to grow my social media, and I didn't know the power of leveraging the influencer in a partnership. We kind of worked that deal out as we went along. I'm showing y'all how to grow your agency. Why is that important? In the insurance industry and in the financial services industry, what do they always tell you? You're one, you're one recruit away from blowing up your business. How many of you have ever heard that? How many of you have ever been in the financial services industry and you have personally heard yourself that somebody told you, whether it's your upline, your downline, your sideline, your mentor, your trainer, they always told you you were one client away or one recruit away. When I met Brother Ben, I just wanted him to be a client. When I found out he was a social media influencer, I just wanted him to teach me his ways. Information was so good that he wanted to put it on his page and ever since then it blew up. Right? So, so, I know I wanted a collaboration. I knew I needed to learn. I, I, and I wanted a collaboration with where people were and where the money reside. And I knew it had to be on social media. I just did not know how. 
Okay? I just did not know how. When I got on social media, I began to use social media like I did originally. When I was out there with the people, what did I do? I said, well, shoot, let's get a, let's do a one hour seminar. I said, let's do a one hour seminar. Let's get them to set an appointment and let's close some policies. Although using social media and technology, it made it more efficient for me to actually do that because why? I could get more eyeballs. On my content or on my ad, I can get more eyeballs on my ad that can get them to my seminar, that can get them on an appointment, that can close policies. Y'all, all an ad, all an ad is, an ad is just a pitch. That's all an ad is. An ad is just a pitch. That's all it is. A quick, entertaining pitch that you can utilize to get somebody's attention so that it can come your way. That's all it is. <clears throat> so what I did was, I I got on social media. I learned how to create a proper pitch to get attention. <clears throat> Let me give y'all a, a fun fact. If you want to get more people to take you seriously, you do not get people's attention in the financial services industry by dancing and pointing to shit. That ain't how you do it. When you talk about offering a serious product, credit repair, offering a serious product, insurance, offering a serious product, an investment product, offering a serious product, a, a, a home, real estate. You do not get people's attention by pointing to shit and dancing. Jake, huh? Jake, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing right here, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you know what, you're right. This actually used to be an ATM. Matter of fact, damn, they out of business. <laughs> no more bank. Listen, I want to tell you something. This used to be an ATM, and for so long, most of our companies have been struggling. Most of our people have been struggling because we've been taught that the bank is something that we need in order to survive. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just drive around a little bit and just pay homage to the dead. Because what I want you to understand is that you can make your dreams come alive because I'm going to teach you strategies on exactly what the banks use to be able to dominate and take over our mind. I'm going to teach you those exact same strategies to build your own bank. And we have... <laughs> you may grow followers for entertainment, but your income ain't growing with your followers. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? If, you, if you're not in the financial services industry, this can also apply to you. Pointing to shit and dancing to get people's attention, you may get their attention, but you won't get their dollars. You may get their attention but you won't get their dollars. You ain't going to convert people that way talking about a product. Okay? So what I did to get more attention, I did one as what digital real estate teaches you is you have to create some type of controversy. I don't know how to spell controversy that lets you know that anybody can be successful online <laughs> or in business. You ain't got to learn how to spell. You got to create controversy. And what I mean by controversy, I don't mean to get online to be messy. You're getting online to create a statement to get people's attention. So when you get on social media, you have to first understand that you need attention. And you don't get attention by just smiling and just being nice.
You have to be able to. People need to know what you stand for. When I first got online, I was just like y'all. I said, Ben, I don't want to get online beefing with nobody, man. I don't want to do that. Ben, Ben, why? And what Ben did, he made me get in some controversy. He he would get on somebody and post and be like, that ain't what my brother Jake said. Oh, boom, boom. That ain't what my that ain't what my brother Jake taught me about finances. That ain't and, and I would have to be getting on defending what he said in the comments and I realized how much power that got received because people wanted to hear an opposing thought. So if you're trying to gain attention and get people to take your content seriously, you want people to take your content seriously. You don't want to, them to think that you're some child with little bitty games, especially if you're trying to move a product. I came on social media not to play, but to move a product. I wanted a product to go into my consumer's hands, and I wanted to find a way to get it to their hands. So what do you have to do? The very best way to get attention, positive attention, is commentary. If you're in the financial services industry, you should be trying to prove. If you're in the financial services industry, you should be trying to prove your expertise, not your dancing skills. If you're if you're if you're in the financial services industry, you should try to be trying to prove your credibility of the knowledge that you have. Not in flashiness to get people's attention. So in order for people to understand your viewpoint. In order for them to want to hear your viewpoint. You have to give commentary on something they already want to look at. A lot of y'all get so discouraged because people don't want to hear you. You feel like you got all the best game. You got all the best knowledge. You different from everybody else. And you mad that nobody's coming to watch your video. You dry hating on somebody else's video, but you don't know how to get attention. You don't know how to get attention. How do you get attention? You use a trendy or controversial topic where, who, who people already know and you do your vantage point in agreeing or disagreeing and moving in that way. Jake, what do you mean? Here's what I mean. People don't want to look at you. Don't nobody care about you. They don't know you. They don't care about you and they don't know you. So why would they want to listen to you? So what you got to do, you got to say, well, who do people look at in the industry? You find out who they know. You find out who they respect. You find out who got controversy. You find out who got eyeballs, who has attention. And what you do is you do a side by side commentary, either agreeing with what they are saying and adding your spin to it or disagreeing with what they are saying and you add your spin to it. Look, I was raised different. I see the whole game different. Gotta go hard like LeBron in the paint with it. We don't just play different. Every day we think different. Wake up in the morning, talk to Christ. You know I pray different. Used to play. Jay, 
Jack, what the hell are you doing? Listen, man, I'm paying homage to the dead. Good riddance to this bank. The bank has been robbing our people for so many years, teaching us that we need them in order to survive. As a matter of fact, I'm so happy. I'm not going to get into nothing called no decentralized banking, but what I will tell you is that you can't be your own bank. A bank ain't nothing but a business. You see it went out of business the same way or any other business can go out of business. If you learn how to sell products and services and all those things online, learn how to use those profits to start storing them in insurance reserves, just like the banks do, you can be the bank to yourself. And matter of fact, if you use our strategies of digital real estate, you can grow and expand like this online, becoming like a viral sensation with your products and services. So what I want you to do, don't be like me, just paying homage to the dead. I want you to make your dreams come alive. Just click the link below and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can take your life to the next level. Now let me finish what I'm doing.